cellphone, gadget stand, at libro. Naging sandat ako ang mga kagamitang ito upang ang milestone accomplishment ay makamit ko. Halina, ating tunghan ang aking kwento. I am Ma'am Annalisa de Guzman Teodoro, 43 years old. I have been in the teaching profession for 22 years. I spent my 12 years teaching in private school and yes, this year I celebrated my 10th work anniversary in the Department of Education. Tama po, sampung taon na po akong guro at naglilingkod sa ating mga mag-aaral sa pampublikong paaralan. At present, I am a senior high school teacher at the Academic Senior High School of the City of Maykawayan or Ashcom handling research subjects. Specifically, I teach practical research and inquiries, investigations, and immersion to our grade 12 learners. Aside from being a research teacher, I am also the school's research coordinator since 2016. That was when our school was opened and started its operation. Also, um, I serve as one of the research mentors or research coach um, in our school's division of City of Maykawayan and have been consistently tapped and invited as a resource person or resource speaker in seminars, webinars, and trainings in the field of research. Actually, I have other duties, other tasks, other achievements, and accomplishments. But, my dedication, my service in the field of research is the focus of this milestone accomplishment that I will share to you. The unforeseen public health crisis that hit our country in 2020 has put the education sector to face new challenges. Now, in order to address this, the Department of Education confronted the issues of COVID-19 pandemic and took steps for education to continue. DepEd had made modifications on certain policies and practices. One was the delivery of teaching and learning. So we teachers shifted our practices and adapted the new normal teaching. Yes, during the pandemic, the hard transition from face-to-face -face classes to distance learning mode created a big problem on me because I am teaching research. So I immediately felt the huge challenge of teaching research by means of um, printed modules or by conducting online classes. It is because we know for a fact that teaching research requires the development of different skills such as searching for information, validating this information, analyzing data before one can finally write um, a research paper or a research manuscript. So it is indeed very difficult to um, teach research without directly working with the students, without directly or explicitly teaching them the process, and of course, without um, correcting or giving feedback to them. I then thought of video-based lessons in research. Here, I can directly discuss to my students. I can comprehensively explain the context of the topic directly to them. With these things in mind, I got myself involved in using this learning approach and in extending my service to my students. The goal is very clear to me. That is to develop among my students the competencies expected of them despite the global pandemic crisis. And so, I devoted my time and effort in creating video lessons in research subject, for I believe in the effectiveness of these as learning resource or material. Now, the video lessons which at first were exclusively intended for my students in school were utilized during online classes. However, 
some of my students failed to attend the synchronous classes due to household works, poor internet connection, and others have their job or work. But this did not pose an issue for me. I urgently thought of putting the video lessons in an online platform where my students can access them asynchronously or in their own pace. This technique also aided the problem of learners on poor connectivity during actual online classes. Now, my adjustment in the teaching learning design opened a milestone to me. Yes, the uploaded videos in an online platform made a significant impact not only to my own students but to the students and teachers in the Philippines and abroad. So my YouTube channel, Anna PH, where I collated the videos, made a great contribution to the bigger academic community. Teachers, college students, parents, and even those taking advanced studies or are in the graduate schools express their appreciation to me for my dedicated service. So they were so grateful of free lesson tutorials I am giving to everyone. Thus, this resulted for a significant number of followers of the said educational channel. And in order to determine or identify the general results or the impact, I thematically grouped all the responses, all the comments of the members of the learning community. So I came up with three significant themes. In terms of sustainability, the first video lesson was uploaded on October 25, 2020 in the said online platform. So it was accessed for free and was used not only by my students but by researchers from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. In fact, the first video lesson reached 909,000 learners and counting. At present, the online educational channel is sustained along with its services, which are all available and accessible to all. Users from abroad are also noted and recorded to benefit from the learning approach and the learning materials. So the other ancillary services are available in the current time and are still provided for free. My commitment and dedication contribute in revitalizing the image and respect for teaching as a vocation. I can proudly say that I help in increasing public awareness on the value of teachers in our society, in our country.